Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. This video deals with summary of chapters 5 to 10 of the novel The Moth Eaten Howda of the Tusker by Indira Goswami. In chapter 5, uh, we are introduced to a character named Mark Sahib, a Christian who comes to the village of Karum to collect manuscripts uh, to write about the history of Satra. Mark can read printed Assamese, but he cannot make out handwritten ancient Assamese script. So he sought the help of Indranath and Indranath greeted Mark Sahib and asked him to get seated on a wooden chair. In the meantime, there was an abrupt cry from Durga, the aunt of uh, Indranath, uh, and it was because, uh, uh, the, because of Mark's shadow that has fallen on her body. Durga immediately fled to the well in order to have her second bath. This incident showed the caste discrimination that was taking place in the village. Mark was allotted a hut to stay there and Indranath told Giribala to assist him in his work. Uh, but he, uh, Mark is also going to write about the history of uh, or uh, the biography of a German named Gilman Sahib. Giribala observed Mark, uh, who was a very handsome man. The story of Majudar Munjai Chaudhary and Gilman Sahib were narrated by a person uh, named Sombu Mohura. Uh, Giribala's fresh alluring beauty stirred the senses of Mark. However, Mark felt a pain in his heart when he thought about the tragedy of her youthful widowhood. In Chapter 6, we get information about Saru Guzain that uh, she is the daughter of uh, Guzain of uh, Dakala who hails from uh, Pataldia. Uh, Saru Guzain uh, was helped by Mahidar after the death of her husband in collecting the revenue of her lands. Mahidar warned Saru Guzain about strange men loitering in her lands. Saru Guzain observed a kind of excitement whenever Mahidar, the handsome man, came near her. Durga told Saru Guzain that there was a, a gossiping among the people uh, about the relationship between Saru Guzain and Mahidar. The ancestral Rangamati estate was infiltrated by communists. The communists have influenced the tenant farmers. Uh, when Mahidar went to collect the revenue of the land, he was chased away and hurt by them. An unknown fear haunted Saru Guzain. Uh, her mind was filled with this kind of fear. If they resorted to violence, she would have to face hunger, starvation and death. Saru Guzain uh, pondered over her past. Unfortunately, she had to part with her gold ornaments for the treatment of her sick husband by an unscrupulous doctor from Palasbury. And Saru Guzain thought about a saucepan in her home and she never knew that this saucepan came from a military camp. Uh, she had seen one such saucepan in Call to the Mahout's hand. Uh, Call to the Mahout had a similar saucepan and uh, she was thinking about that. Uh, Kaltu used to take his elephants to the river for bathing. So at that time he developed a friendship with a batman of the camp and this batman came with buckets uh, in order to collect leeches pulled off from the elephant's body. Uh, these leeches were later fried and eaten by the soldiers of the camp. Uh, the batman presented Kaltu as saucepan as a token of their friendship. Uh, while Saru Gosin was thinking about the saucepan, there was a loud knocking on the door. Durga informed Saru Gosin that Giribala was bitten by a snake. The doctor of Barihat told the people there to take Giribala immediately to the Palasbury Hospital. But there was none to take her to the Palasbury Hospital. Indranath was not at home at that time. And the elephants uh, that were used for transportation were also not available. One of the elephants have gone mad. Uh, one of the elephants there has gone mad. Giribala was uh, rescued by Mark. And Saru Guzain was afraid of Mahidar's safety. 
uh, what would happen to him if he was attacked by the mad elephant how will she survive after mahida's death all such thoughts were haunting saru gosen's mind saru gosen recollected the day when she first met mahida so mahida introduced himself as mahida dharma patak and his wife had died at childbirth later mahida became her right hand uh, saru gosen nursed him back to health when he fell sick with cholera saru gosen stood under bokul tree waiting for mahida's arrival so uh, indranath who was on his way to home noticed saru gosen um, standing under bokul tree and in chapter 7 uh durga we find durga the 40 year old widow beseeching the gosain that is her sister in law money for her trip to jagannath puri because she wanted to immerse her husband's ashes in the sacred ganga so she asked the pandas to take her uh, to the trip to uh, jagannath puri and panda said that the expense would be uh, around 120 rupees Uh, durga demanded her sister in law to give her pair of earrings given to her uh, by her mother in law on her death bed um, so there was a quarrel between uh, durga and her sister in law uh, as the sister in law refused to give her uh, the earrings back durga carried so uh, durga carried a box of gold ornaments to saru gosain's home and it was her uh, gold ornaments durga's gold ornaments saru gosain advised durga to go back to the gosain in the manor house and she pointed out that durga's greatest sin uh, is to come here uh, come to um, this village with indranath uh, from chikarhati forsaking her husband's place durga is hopeful that indranath would help her in getting share of her property and also she is hopeful that she can definitely uh, gain her share of property from her in-laws by seeking the help of the court at gavati indranath took uh, durga back to his home saru gosain watched mahida sleeping in his room and she has never seen such a robust physique in the south bank she longed to touch him uh, but she changed her mind in chapter 8 we come to know that the all that all the old congress workers have become home guards or prohibition officers of the opium addiction eradication camp and they could enter any house without warrant they were given this permission in the north uh, had a firm resolve to help the home guards in catching the opium smuggling brahmin from kuch bihar in order to save the life of eliman Indranath's memory was haunted by the beauty of Eliman. Indranath had a soft corner for the elephant that had gone must uh, which was so masculine and strong. The elephant had destroyed two paddy fields but it had not taken any life. Indranath was worried that uh, the commissioner may even issue orders for shooting if the elephant had killed any man. the gosain warned indranath about the elephant the gosain that is the mother of indranath had warned elephant so for a uh, uh, male members of the family the uh, term gosain is used the spelling is g o s a i n for the uh, women g o s a i n e e is used indranath gave a bold reply that the elephant may recognize him and it will leave him unhurt indranath in had made indranath had made buttons from its task for his punjabi uh, that is a kind of loose shirt for men indranath gave a clue to the home guards about the opium smuggler uh, who uh, who used to come to the priest house with a bunch of malbog bananas tied to the handlebar of his old bicycle indranath stood near the wooden bridge and uh, Uh, 10 yards away stood the mad elephant on seeing the um, frenzied elephant indranath's whole body trembled jagannath is the name of the elephant that has gone must uh, jagannath was mahaprabhu's most beloved elephant indranath had sat on his back so many times 
there were scars on the elephant's head uh, because of the goad in the hand of the mahout and uh, these scars made indranath sad call to the mahout said about the elephant that it was the most uh, notious uh, it is the most naughty one um, okay of the elephants that he had seen and uh, it attacks anything he doesn't like uh, gozain rides on him like a king whenever he went to meet his dis uh, di disciples uh, once um, in, once jagannath pushed a man named baltu the opium eater down from his uh, back when he tried to sit on the back of the elephant the frenzied elephant turned his back on indranath and disappeared into the sal forest the home gods raided the house of the priest and caught the opium smuggler the butker was crowded with people shocked and they uh, with people and the people were shocked uh, to hear the arrest of a brahmin opium smuggler that was the first time in the south bank a brahmin was arrested the home gods brought uh, jokram bhagwati and his brother the priest of raja pukuri to the gozain's butker and uh, their hands were secured with handcuffs the main culprit that is uh, uh, the brahmin from kuch bihar uh, pleaded that the other two brahmins are innocent but his plea uh, but his plea uh, was ignored by the badgar uh, by the uh, by the gozain by the gozain and the home gods the women of the satra Uh, of the 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 women of the satra they went to bagwadi's house uh, to console and sympathize with eliman uh, guimani the smoking companion of the gozain comforted her the old woman who was the only companion of eliman uh, cut open a bamboo post that was lying in eliman's home and when she cut open the bamboo post uh, many silver coins fell on the ground uh, guimani asked the old woman Okay, and uh, the old woman was surprised. Old woman and Eliman they were surprised to see the silver coins, uh, which uh, the priest and his brother have obtained as bribes for the opium uh, selling. Uh, Guimani asked the old woman about the previous meeting which took place between Eliman and Indranath, and um, Eliman thought that uh, uh, Guimani must have come to know uh, through some person uh, who have informed to the Gozain, and the Gozain might have told Guimani to ask about the uh, to ask uh, about the meeting. So later, Eliman's father and her uncle were set free. In chapter nine, we. Uh, come to know about shraddha ceremony of the old gozain that is uh, the gr uh, grandfather of indranath so shraddha ceremony is a ceremony connected for the ancestors and this ceremony was conducted for the uh, old uh, i mean for the uh, grandfather for the grandfather of indranath who was dead um, okay and indranath's father wore ceremonial dress for this occasion Uh, Giribala uh, felt tempted to do. Uh, she felt tempted to eat the flesh of the goat, which was served during the ceremony. So she uh, wanted to taste um, the flesh of goat, that is mutton. Her late husband Lotu Gozain liked such preparation by Bangara Brahmins, and he had a relationship. He had an uh, illegal relationship with a notorious woman, opium is. woman opium seller of menari kinari and this woman used to feed him uh, with uh, she used to feed him a pigeon curry cooked with papaya and uh, giribala sasban had a sense of guilt so he conducted a prachit by a brahmin uh, for a gozain widow it was a great sin to smell the aroma of forbidden food uh, and that was mentioned in scriptures but uh, gribala felt tempted to taste mutton uh, by inhaling the smell of um, by inhaling the aroma of the forbidden food and uh, gribala recollected an incident that took place uh, some 8 years ago when indranath and his friends from calcutta went to uh, mitapur for hunting uh, they killed a fat iguana with a gun uh, and later they cooked it though indranath had temptation to taste the flesh um, he could not eat the meat but giribala had a strange surge of greed she ate the flesh with great relish her mother cried out 
on seeing her tasting uh, the meat um, her mother cried out uh, such a greed for flesh is considered as uh, inauspicious inno inauspicious it was considered as an inauspicious one for a girl and uh, the pounding woman to screamed uh, when she saw gribala taking flesh um, she commented her that uh, she was uh, that gribala was having her meat uh, she was having meat like an ogress Giribala darted into the palanquin room. Um, so in that room only the pot of mutton curry was kept. So she took the pot of mutton curry cooked with uh, black beans. For and she forgot everything about her. She for she for had forgotten about her religion, rituals, forgetting everything about her religion, rituals, wisdom, and restraint. She started gulping down the meat, and she almost emptied the pot. for the first time a gozen gozen daughter has committed a heinous act and this act of gribala was considered as a great sin there was a loud screech which startled gribala and uh, durga fainted on seeing the scene of uh, gribala tasting the uh, mutton somebody shouted to grab the hand of gribala and they grabbed uh, they dragged her out of the room there was a big crowd uh, in the badgar uh, badgar is their home there is a manor house and uh, the gozain uh, that is the mother of in uh, mother of indranath okay or the mother of giribala uh, held her braids and kicked her indranath the brother of giribala came to her rescue and uh, he told about the rituals of uh, uh, atonement in order to pacify his mother and um, there were rituals of purification and atonement so purification and ritualistic atonement were not went on for a long time and there were stern warnings and moral lectures uh, stern warnings and moral lectures were given to giribala by her family members uh, later giribala was shut inside a small room Uh, which was adjacent to the sandal room in the sandal room uh, the sandals of the ancestors were kept the sandals of the late husbands of giribala uh, and durga were also kept in the room and uh, Dur uh, durga and uh, giribala uh, they every day they have to worship the sandal with uh, tulsi uh, leaves and also some flowers and there was a conversation okay we can say uh, we can find uh, about the conversation of women there and there was a conversation of women and they were talking about ill omens that were taking place in the village uh, the elephant uh, had gone suddenly an elephant had gone must and a widow had eaten meat so all these are related to ill omens according to the people of the village uh, giribala was worried um, that even mark didn't say anything to save her uh, about the incident that took place on the shraddha ceremony uh, her eating of uh, mutton or, or her eating of the meat later mark expressed his helplessness uh, by looking her out of the window okay um, uh, gribala and mark had a conversation through a window of the room Giribala thrust her right hand through the window and caught hold of the collar of Mark's shirt. Out of her anger, she did this. Mark gently pressed open her fingers from the collar and pushed her hand inside, uh, inside the room. Uh, Giribala noticed later. Giribala after some time, Giribala was lying on the bed and later she noticed a big umbrella in the room. Uh, it was a, a red green and pink colored fine satin this umbrella was made of uh, fine satin cloth with red green and pink color and this umbrella was used by gozain for offering sacrificial meals a flash of memory was in the mind of uh, giribala uh, giribala's uh, it was giribala's first uh, visit to her home after their marriage Indranath and Sombu Mohra escorted her husband, holding this umbrella over his head. So this memory uh, did not uh, create any kind of sensation of love or respect for her husband, uh, because the man had a disgusting relationship with a notorious woman who was selling opium. 
Giribala caressed the cloth of the umbrella and she felt that the uh, umbrella had the soft and uh, that the umbrella the, she felt about the softness and smoothness of the umbrella like the softness and smoothness of Mark's skin. Chapter 10 in chapter 10 we find that almost every one of the village had sympathy for the frenzied elephant which was considered as a fine, anim fine animal. Uh, the uh, elephant Jagnath had 18 nails which was considered to be a very auspicious mark and uh, there were curving cuts uh, on the elephant. The curving tusks on the elephant looked like graceful swords of a sick uh, soldiers. Uh, there were uh, several attempts to capture Jagnath for the last four months. Uh, in the past, Jagnath came down from Matya Pahar, tramping along the bank of Jagalia River and reached the Bhatka. Uh, Bhatkar stood near the Hauda. The Muslim artisans were cleaning and repairing the Hauda. Howda is a seat uh, that is placed on the elephant's back. People used to sit on the, uh, the howda. Um, the Muslim artisans were cleaning and repairing the howda. Uh, seeing the huge animal there, they ran for their lives. Jagnath took the howda to the riverside. With great fury, he trampled on it and broke it into a thousand pieces. The reason was uh, found out later uh, that there were two twisted nails on the howda, and uh, these nails rubbed uh, these nails rubbed against the elephant's back, uh, and uh, it causes uh, painful wounds. It caused painful wounds on the elephant's back. So that was the reason why Jagnath uh, broke uh, the howda into several pieces. Durga sat, saw the pandas who were taking uh, people for the trip to Jagnath Puri. Uh, and uh, she, uh, the pandas, she know the, uh, she's know, she knows that uh, the panda knew everything about uh, the um, incidents, about the main incidents that are taking place in the village, uh, about the frenzied elephant, uh, Giribala's wayward behavior with the Christian, uh, Christian missionary that is Mark Sahib, then the communist threats in uh, Mara Bahita land, Indranath's attraction towards the Brahmin girl. Durga's gold jewels in the box. Durga was thinking about the gold jewels in the box and she thought to sell those gold jewels uh, in order to uh, um, bear with the expenses of the, uh, of the uh, pilgrimage. So she went to Saru Guzain's uh, home in order to take, the, uh, take out the box and she found her gold jewels missing. And Mahidhar was suspected behind this stealing. And Saru Guzain, the 30-year-old widow, could not bear it because she was so fond of Mahidhar and she could not think about uh, the, the stealing with Mahidhar. Okay, so she could not bear it. Uh, the rest of the chapters will be uploaded soon. Thank you for watching this video.